Of course, we all know what the QR codes are. You can see them almost everywhere. Have you actually tried to scan the QR code from the thumbnail of this video? If not, I'll put it on the screen now. So take your iPhone camera and try it. Yes, it will lead you to Apple Online Academy website. But that's not the only functionality, not just opening websites. You can link QR code to your Twitter account or Instagram account. I can, for example, create a coupon for my course and then generate a QR code for that. So maybe you have an online store and you can create QR codes for your products you are selling there. So it's not about opening the websites only. It can have a lot more other purposes. And actually, it's pretty easy to create a shortcut which will generate these QR codes automatically for you. Well, in just this intro, I think I've repeated QR code like 100 times. If you can count it for me how many times I've said it in this video, leave it in the comments below. But now enough talking and let's start. Once you open the app, press the plus button to create a new shortcut. And right away, search for QR. First thing which will come is the option to generate QR code. Technically you are done, but how to use this now? Well, what it does is that it generates QR code from the text. So I can enter any text here and it will transfer it into the code. So now we can imagine how to use it. You can just type it or copy your URL here and it will generate QR code. But I want to make it more intuitive and more automatic. Not just prolong the video, but I think we can do some useful things with it. First thing I want is to be able to take the website from Safari automatically. So I don't need to type it or copy it manually. I will just search for a web page here and the option I'm looking for is called Get Current Web Page from Safari. Now instead of this text here, I need to combine it with the first line. So right click it, insert variable, select variable and click on the web page. And let's sort the way how to view the QR code after as well. I don't need to be opening the shortcuts app all the time. I will put here quick look. Show QR code in quick look. Now it's time to test it. So open up the website, go back to shortcuts and play. Now I have the code in quick look. I can just scan it with my phone to test it and it opens up the website. I can copy the QR code from here and place it in my documents, for example. So I'm pretty much done here. I can do one more thing. What you can do is to actually save this code as an image, not just open it in quick preview. So let's add save command. If I test it again, it will open it in quick look. And once I closed it, it will ask me if I want to save it. So let's do it and put it on the desktop. So with the saving, I have had another step, but at the same time, I have created another issue. Because it has this general name, which I don't like, I want it to be renaming automatically. I am quite a lazy person, so I want this shortcut to be able to take the website automatically and generate me the QR code with the website name. This is the usual way, how am I creating the shortcuts? You go step by step, you create new things on the way, but you create new issues on the way. And you need to combine it, and that's the whole process of creating this shortcut. So what we have to do now, is to add the rename command. It will ask how it should be renamed. Now I have to get the website details as well, which can be used as the name. Let's search for Safari details. And it's this command, which I'll put on the second place, right under here, so we don't change any other variables and connections on the way. Now switch it to name here, so get the name from the website. 
all correct. And last thing I need to do is to connect the rename with this line. You already know how. Right click it again, select variable and choose the website name. Now once I save it, I will get on the desktop new QR code image, which is called like this. It's the Apple Online Academy website name. You can of course make it even more automatic. Remove this step with a quick look. Set it to save it automatically on the desktop. It doesn't need to be asking me every time. I can untick it here and define the desktop folder here. At the end, switch it to settings tab and here pin it to menu bar. Then you have quick access to this shortcut and you don't need to open the app every single time. And you can also customize it here as you wish. Give it the name, icon or a color. You can really play with this and set it the way you need. Maybe you don't need this saving at all and this other half of the video was useless for you. Even though I believe it was not useless. Maybe you don't need this commands, these variables for this particular shortcut. But at least you have learned something new which you can apply in some other shortcuts you will be creating in the future. I really hope that you have found something useful in this video. And I will appreciate every like or subscribe you leave on the channel. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.